Let's head to Paris now, where Team GB are already celebrating double medal success on the opening day of competition. Uh, someone else hoping to get on the podium will be sprinter Louis Hinchcliffe, who's been speaking with our reporter Miriam walker Can We can join uh, Miriam now. Miriam, good to see you. It's been a great day so far for Team GB. Uh, but just remind us of Louis Hinchcliffe's, Hinchcliffe's story up until now. <laughs> Yeah, if you see me running out of shot, it's because the world's biggest wasp has just <laughs> come to our studio. Um, so Louis from Sheffield and he kind of burst onto the scene earlier this year when he won the NCAA title, that's the US Collegiate title. He ran sub 10 seconds and the sixth fastest time in British history and uh, has just kind of come from nowhere. He's the only European man in over 100 years to win that title. But the most incredible thing is, is that he's coached by nine time Olympic champion Carl Lewis. So we asked him if Carl had any tips for him today. Yeah, I'm very, very proud. He like he gives me a lot of that experience, and it's good. It's good kind of to see him in like at those at those moments. Kind of reminds me like he's a he's a normal person as well. So yeah, he passes down like a lot of that experience to me. What is he passing down at the moment in you know the immediate lead lead up to you competing? I think just trying to stay stay relaxed, like running my own race, not really getting too caught up in everything. Like a lot of people can get too caught up in the games. So yeah, just staying staying focused and staying relaxed and just trying not to trying not to win the race, just running my own race and letting the result come to me. So Miriam, realistically, what are his chances in the one hundred meters? I think it's tricky, isn't it? It's his first major tournament as an athlete. He's kind of been thrown in at the deep end, so we'll have to wait and see what happens. But he had his first real test a week ago at the London Diamond League, where he went up against Zarnell Hughes, who's a, the British record holder over the one in uh, 200 metres, and he beat him. He came fourth in that race. He had an awful start, a really, really bad start, but he ran another sub 10 second run, which was just incredible to see and we spoke to him straight after that race last week and he said he didn't like coming forth so he's definitely got that winner's mentality but he'll also have to face reigning world champion in the 100 meters and 200 meters Noah Lyles and uh, we spoke to him about the threat of Noah Lyles and what um, what he would do when he came up against him again. It's kind of cool because like, obviously he's like a world champion a world champion and that but yeah he's a competitor so yeah, it's like not not too many feelings, like not in awe by it. So just got I got respect him, but yeah, he's a competitor. So he respects Noah Lyles, and we also spoke to Noah Lyles a week ago at that Diamond League race, and Noah said that he really, really respects Louis Hinchliffe for winning that NCAA title. We know how many legends of the sport have won it, people like Justin Gatlin, Frankie Fredericks, so it is no mean feat, and he's absolutely up for the challenge. So we'll wait to see what happens next week in the athletics.